Right guys, let's get this underway with Ipswich in the Championship, just obviously uh, starting out. Um, a fair few players I've actually, I've spent a couple of hours looking at players who we could sign. Um, we don't have that much money to spend in terms of transfer budget. We have a million budget and 50 grand in wages, which isn't that much. It's an absolute ball ache, to be honest. Um, obviously, part of me would have liked a, um, a, what am I thinking? I'm thinking I would have liked a bigger, uh, a bigger transfer budget and obviously more cash to play with so we could entice some players. But I think there's a good chance some of the players we could bring into have still got all the filters left from last time. Well, I was looking through all the free agents. Um, I have a couple of shortlists. Potential signings is I've got 22 players here. Stephen Moyukolo is the first one. In fact, I tell you what, let's have a look by position. Um, there's two keepers who I've done some scouting around on some forums, and these keepers are meant to be pretty half decent, especially going forward. First one is Joel Pereira from Man United. He's in the under-21 squad. He's on 100. He's on. Sorry, he's worth 115,000. He's on five grand a week. He's. I've, I've asked a lot of these players have have uh, been scouted. Um, next one is Kepa Arazi Balanga. I've probably absolutely butchered that name, but he's currently uh... <laughs> now. Then Ashley, mate, how you doing, mate? We're. Uh... Yeah, just uh, just just started. I'm, I've had a quick look at a few players, and um, I've got this little potential list of players we could look to sign. Um, there's this keeper. Uh, there's a keeper called Kepper, or there's a keeper called Keeper. He's on loan at Porfirina from Athletic. So I'd like to get him in, but we might be able to get him in. Pereira is potentially the main keeper. Uh, Salva Ruiz is an interesting one we could look to sign. Obviously, this this he, he plays for Valencia B team, so we may have to see what we can do. I've tried to look at young players, but there are a couple of older players, not that old, but only a little bit. Bruno Martins Indy is one of the highest valued players that we've looked at. Obviously, there's a lot of intrigue around him at Sporting, um, and I was. Yeah, I was intrigued by him. He's a central defender, eight grand a week, six hundred and fifty thousand. He'd probably take up a, the mo the majority of our budget, but I do think he um, I do think he will be a decent player to bring in if we could. It depends whether he would want to to leave and and come to us. Well, the next one we have is Jesus Vajeo, who is contracted to Zaragoza, two hundred and fifty pounds a week. He has really high potential after if I can I'll link in the description the uh, the forums that I went on to find all these players that had high high potential Lloyd Jones is one from Liverpool 300,000 is on two grand a week DeAndre Yedlin from Spurs is another one we're potentially looking to get in um, he'll be a loan deal 15 grand a week so he's going to be a sort of transfer deadline day signing for for a loan deal, I would, I would not class him as a high priority player to bring in, only because I think we need to to strengthen the team with actual signings. Um, Stephen Moyakolo is is a centre back. He's not that bad. His one thing that lets him down is his natural fitness, and I I just I feel like if his fitness was a lot higher. He'd be, uh, he'd be a lot more of a decent signing. But when you actually go to the comparison and compare him with Christoph Berra, there's you know crossing, yeah, dribbling is uh, is not. When it gets to the defensive stats, heading they're the same. Long shots, he's like the throw-ins. You don't worry about marking, they're the same. Tackling, he's the same as Berra. Penalty taking, you don't really give a crap about that. Work rate, it's the same. I mean between. 12 and 14 does it? Yeah, so he's got the chance to be the same. Vision is okay. Teamwork is higher. He's already between 15 and 4, 15 and 17. 
Positioning is, is okay. Leadership is not as much as bearer. Determination is okay. Anticipation, aggression, and bravery are good. His acceleration isn't as good. Agility, slightly worrying. Balance is better. Jumping reach is good. So this guy, Christoph, uh, sorry, Stephen Moyakolo, I think he is going to be he's going to be a sign that I'd look to bring in. And depending on what his wages were, that is also the the issue we have there. Hector Bellerin is another player who we could look to bring in on loan if potentially DeAndre Yedlin wasn't available. Or I mean, we can have a look and compare compare with. DeAndre Yedlin. As you can see, a lot of the stats tackling Yedlin is better. Teamwork is a bit iffy. Physicals are much of a muchness. Acceleration, they're both great at bombing forward down the wing. And the other thing that I, where was it? Where's it gone? The other one that I was looking at, and there was one specific one I was looking at where I thought off the ball. Yep. Yeah and teamwork and work rate they're the ones that I'm looking at and they're young we can get them in Ruben Loftus Cheek I was actually he's available for loan but I might be cheeky and see if I can buy him obviously he's come through the Chelsea ranks this season I'm thinking maybe we can potentially if we can steal him that will be nice to bring him um, right who else do we have we have Brian Christain from Benfica He's on 135,000 6k week. Apparently, he's meant to be a really good player going forward. And if we could bring bring him in, it would be ideal. Uh, George Bias from Watford is another young player who is meant to be fantastic. Not heard too much about this guy myself personally in real life, but we're going to have to see what happens with him. Uh, Gideon Zellerman was a player I potentially looked to bring in for my youth challenge with. Um, uh, with Auxerre, but I didn't. In fact, yes, I did bring him in on loan, and he's on 750,000, so he would potentially be a last-minute signing. Um, Miroslav Stefanovic from Gior is another player who's meant to be fantastic. Haven't quite scouted. Got got him scouted yet? Obviously, with saying most of these players, they haven't been scouted yet. He's on a grand a week, 275,000. He may be one to bring in. Uh, Vaclav Cherny is another player, £85 a week, 210,000, 16 years old. Some of these are ones for the future. Sebi Shrivers, everyone rates Sebi Shrivers on FIFA. I'm wondering if the, the guy in Football Manager is as good, so he's another one we could potentially look at. Donis Advajal, um, a striker from Sturm Graz. I don't know too much about him, but again, he was on the list of players I was looking at, and... Yeah, maybe we could bring him in. Jerome Sinclair from Liverpool. Finishing between 11 and 17. He's another one we need to scout. Every player on this list needs to be scouted further. Michael Frey from um, Lille is, is another one we could look at. Um, Sandro, I was watching a stream earlier. Um, it was uh, Fox in the Box. And he had Sandro in his Plymouth Argyle um, stream. And... Yeah, this guy looks like he could be a decent player. Unfortunately, with him, the amount he's on, we are potentially going to have to sell someone first. Thierry Ambrose is with Man City's under 21s, but apparently he turns out to be a decent player for most Premier League teams. Jean Marie Dongu, 1.2 million, 5k a week. But if we could get him in, it would be uh, it would be fantastic. That's one of my shortlists. The other one is just my default, and I went looking through players. Um, some of them are oh, are on two. Um, more than Odegaard, I put him in just to see if we could potentially get him on loan from Real Madrid, and whether that was whether that would be something to <laughs> to do just 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 for shits and giggles, see if we could get him in. Uh, Chancel uh, Umbea from Andelect. As we know, Andelect have an absolutely fantastic youth system. So getting some of their players in will be good. But obviously, this guy is worth 1.3 million. So the chances of us getting him in are slim to none. Alberto Massi will be another one to get in. But chances are slim to none. Alex Pritchard, good young player from Spurs, having an absolutely fantastic season at the moment. He's another one. Patrick Roberts from Fulham. Sandro, once again, the Barca player. Zakari. Uh, Bakali is a player who I'm intrigued by. He was recommended when I did when I streamed FIFA a while ago, and he's with PSV. And I'm wondering whether we could potentially try and nick him. Ryan Gold, 
is another player who is fantastic. Um, made a made a big move to to Sporting, and I'm just wondering whether he's a player that we could we could bring in. And yeah, he's an interesting one. I think he's only just moved there, so that might be a bit difficult. Uh, Kiko from um, Albacete. He's meant to be a good player. Uh, Levan Kenea contracted to Sparta Parga, young striker. These are all players, obviously. I, I've this is uh, Stefanovic again. A lot of these players I've seen on just on lists of potential players to bring in, and and I'm, I am unsure. So we're going to have to um, just scout them first. There are a few players who are free transfers. Uh, Misimovic is one. I mean, this guy. He's an attacking midfielder, and if you look at his stats, I mean, Jesus wept. That's all I could say. I think he'd be fantastic for us. Okay, his free kick, his first touch, his dribbling corners. I think he could be a great player to bring in. Uh, Peter Trojowski, 30 years of age, but attacking mid left. This guy, if we could bring him in for, say, 10 grand a week. He would be good, although the one worry about bringing him in, he's unavailable to play club football until a year's time. I don't know what's going on. I really should look at that. Jermaine Pennant's available. The attacking mid right, he can play. He's accomplished at playing att attacking mid right. He's no more of a midfielder right. Uh, John Mensa looks to be. I tell you, one thing I want to do is compare him with Stephen Moyokolo comparison. No place, so I don't want to do that. Damn it, I can't. He won't let me do it for some reason. I wonder if I moved him lists. Add to shortlist potential signings indefinitely. If I go to my potential signings, and where are you, John Mercer? No, I don't want to do that. I want to compare you with compare with John Mensa. There we go. So you can see that Stephen Moyukolo is a hell of a lot better. So he will be the one to bring in. John Mensa is a decent free agent. Um, was with uh, Sunderland, I want to say. Let's have a quick look. Um, let's just go back. Right. Cancel that. Shortlists. Default. Where are you, John Mensa? I'm sure you're with Sunderland. Mm hmm. Been with Leon as well and Kievo. So, Premier League and top flight European League experience. Um, Chris Eagles is a good signing. Javier Asmirendi uh, looks to be a decent signing. 30 years of age, another right winger. Compare with. If we can compare him with... Where's Chris Eagles gone? Not on there, because I've not looked at Chris Eagles yet. Right, compare with Azurimendi. So you'd have to say that Chris Eagles, in terms of the technical stuff, is a hell of a lot better. Actually, not a lot of these players will join town. Oh, that's the thing, right? Um, I just looked and I didn't know how many would or how many wouldn't. I'm scouting and I'm going to see who potentially would and see who we could bring in. We never know who we may bring. Chris Eagles, I think we could get in. I think he's a definite. Ezekiel is one that we'll have to see about him, whether whether he could come in. Um, I think Mikolo, we can get him in. Masimovic looks a half-decent player. We may be able to get him in. Well, that's a lot of things I don't. We don't really know which players we're going to get in, who we're actually going to use, and what players are going to. Obviously, the, the formation I want to use is one of these. I can't remember which. I, I think it's no, it's not that one, is it? That's with attacking wing back. I don't really want wing backs. Um, set formation, archive formation. Let's try this one. Inside forward, inside forward. Winger and winger, that's the one. Yeah, it is that one. Winger and winger, but I'm going to make these into fullbacks automatic. Fullback automatic. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we don't really know who's going to play 
and we don't really know who, what we're going to do as well. Um, but yeah, so we've got everything sorted. And I've managed to get all the face packs and badges in and everything, so we're all looking quite good. I've had a couple of runs through, and the first week seems to handle just fine. But we'll just move forward and see what we can get done. And aha, we have our first scout report, and it's for Jurika Buljat from Zadar. View report. He's basic. He has a basic understanding of the language. He's going to be our third best choice centre of fact. Why is it? I suppose. Yeah, it's saying he's got the potential to be the uh, the third best ahead of Tommy Smith. Okay, so he's one that we're just going to keep on the back burner for now. Ezekiel report. He has potential to be a useful player. Basic understanding, right? Twenty-three percent left. Twenty-one areas left to scout. I'm to meet the media. Press conference at Portman Road. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be passionate. Absolutely, there's no doubt the chairman and I share the same ambitions. Do you feel the expectations of the club are realistic? Assertive. Yes. Uh, assertive. The, uh, the fantastic ambition. New managers will, will need to bring in their own backroom staff. Um, calm. There's a good setup here with high quality players and staff. I'll unlikely make any changes. Right. Some managers like to have a hands on approach. Passionate. Every player can come to me whenever they want. Look, Gaffer, we've got a problem. I've got the shits. Can you help me out? Then we'll see what we can do. Right. Uh, yes. Will I be primarily concentrating? on getting good results in the Skybet Championship. Yes, I will. On the off chance any agents are reading your comments, assertive, I am not prepared to discuss transfer policy, which I'm not, to be honest. I don't want everyone knowing who the hell we're going to go for. Right, so I've praised the chairman. Call Scoose. Interest in Scoose is thought to be high with Brighton and Nottingham Forest amongst the clubs rumoured to be looking for the player. Right, he's valued at 2.1 million and the offer is worth 2.3 million. Um, so they're only offering 450 up front, 625 over 12 months. They're offering 20% profit from his next sale and 350,000 after 50 league games while well, the fifth after 50 league games can go that is a definite not happening 20% profit from the next sale can stay you can pay me three quarters of a million up front for him and you can pay me two and a half million over a year and if they accept that, then I may, actually, I may piss have pissed you off, and I apologise for that, but I think that's not a bad deal. But if they pay it, then obviously we've got four, getting four, over four million for a player that's worth two point one, which is uh, I'm okay with that. Alex Gibson has agreed terms with Derby. One thing I did do, I went into my staff and responsibilities and I made my director of football hire and fire all other staff because I just can't be asked with having to look to go through coaches and scouts and everything. I've changed my head of youth development to hire contracts of new youth players, finalised signings for new youth players and just yeah, just take things away from me that I don't really need to worry about. So Alex Gibson is a new coach that's coming in Working with youngsters is 16, player ability 15 and 15. Doesn't look too bad. Um, match preparation. 4 2 3 1 advance. Familiarity is not that good at the time being, but that'll get better over time. Must avoid making a loss of more than 3 million in the first season. We can handle that. Eagles report. We have a professional squad, and Eagles would add to that. Interesting joining. He'll be our best attacking mid right. What's between 4.6 and 10k a week? 
Athleticism can sometimes let the player down, but if he's going to be a squad player, scouting summary not a worthwhile signing. Interesting. Uh, Aris Mendy, not a worthwhile signing. No intention of joining our club. Fair enough, removed from shortlist. And Kiko, attacking mid right, 22 years of age. It might be worth keeping an eye on him as a basic understanding of our language. <laughs> now then, Dave, mate. No, I'm not. Um, I'm not an Ipswich Town fan. I am. I'm a Spurs fan personally. But um, there was a. We had. A, I started this stream yesterday, and obviously had, we had a few issues in terms of what what what, what uh, a few issues with um, with football manager. So we started tonight, and it was a case of. When we were in the stream yesterday, deciding on a team, and Ashley said Ipswich Town, as he's an Ipswich Town fan. And to be honest, they've had a half decent season, I thought. So I thought, why not try it? They're a good team. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought, just why not try and see what we could get done? And yeah, see if we can see if we can have a, a, see the same sort of season they had this year. If not, we'll see what we can do with them. Hopefully we're here for the long haul and we don't get sacked. That's the main thing, just not getting sacked. But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just take it from there. I mean, oh, it was one of those where any team could have been up for discussion in the uh, um, uh, what am I thinking? In the uh, yeah, up for discussion yesterday when it came to picking a team. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was it was Ipswich that were chosen. I'm actually just going to quickly change the broadcast title. Uh, well, tractor boys, tractor boys on tour, season one. Yeah, um, it was some, it was something new. Was um, was Ipswich? So I thought, sod it, why not? It's it's, it's a different one, and. Yeah, I mean, I was watching. Uh, I said to to Ashley before. I was watching. Um... <laughs> sweet mate, sweet. Thanks, Dave. For, thanks, Dave, for following along. Any suggestions you've got? Any players you think we need to bring in? And seriously, just put them up. We'll try and we'll try and sign players that obviously are going to help the club out. And if anyone's got a, a got, got a suggestion, they think we need to get that player in. Bear in mind, we've only got one million transfer budget and fifty grand a week. Oh, we definitely need to beat Norwich. That is the that is the main priority. Even if I, even if I have to go one nil up in the first minute and then put eleven players behind the ball and just park the fucking bus. Trust me, uh, I'm a Spurs fan, mate. Look, rivalries are the the biggest games, and yet I'll be doing everything I can to beat them. In fact, first of all, before we go any further with anything else, let's see we have Norwich at home one two three fourth game of the season actually I'm going to stream probably for I don't know maybe two three hours we'll have to see I know the Arsenal game's on and I'm, I'm looking whilst I'm looking at this and talking to you guys I'm I'm having to look for a potential cheeky bet to have on that game but uh, yeah I'll be streaming for a couple of hours at least um, what we're on 20 past seven now so we'll go to I'll go to at least nine maybe half nine maybe even ten and don't, don't forget I will be um, um, Dave I'm hoping I'll make the Norwich game today yes mate but what I can do is in the in the description you'll see a um, a link to my YouTube page because um, what I'm gonna do um, hence why there's no music playing is I'm gonna I'm gonna chop all this up obviously for if I've streamed for three hours I may chop it up into say 20 25 minute videos and I'm going to put them all on YouTube so everyone anyone that comes late doors can watch and see how we've got on first of all and we'll take it from there and also it's good it's good to go back and have a look and you guys can critique my performance and say you've been a wanker you should have signed this player why the fucking hell did you let this player go and we're going to take it from there but yeah we know in order to get further on yeah I'm hoping to get the Ipswich game done in this episode uh, sorry the the Norwich game done in this episode, but we're going to have to have to see how that goes. 